I recently have um, tried to come more to terms with being really comfortable with l- living and learning when you're at that bottom. When you have a moment in your life where you, you, you definitely feel like some momentum has been lost or, or maybe it is a um, uh, end of the road moment, mm-hmm. all is lost. I think there's a lot to be learned there. I think if you can be open, honest, and you're really good at this, as a lot of artists are, vulnerable, and you look for areas to improve or areas where you can, I don't know, really express yourself. Yeah. It can lead to some amazing, amazing results. The biggest transformations and metamorphoses I've had in my life are are, are from when I'm at that moment. Yeah. And, 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 and in a weird way, I kind of look forward to failing now because mm. I know... What comes out it's of the, it. It's the only way that I'm going to actually learn and apply change to my life. That's right. That's mm-hmm. right. And you, and it's so funny to, to, to hear <laughs> you saying this and you've always been so good at being vulnerable. Like I said, now you've parlayed it into using your experiences and being open about them to make everyone else's life better. Right. That's the mission you're on now. Yeah. To a certain degree, you know, it's like, I feel look like basically when I was 22, I had cooler than me. You know, as long as I didn't buy a bunch of Lamborghinis, you're gonna I be didn't set. have to work yeah, anymore. Yeah, you're going to be set. You know? Yeah. And I'm not talking about, like, I don't live a crate. Like, I drive a forerunner, you know? It's like, I live a kind of simple-ish life. Um, so, the point is, I feel like I got gifted the opportunity because, like, I got all these dreams come true. And I'm, sh- I'm sure you guys felt this yourselves, like... All these, all these great things happen. I really thought, like, when I was young, when I was in college, I was like, man, if I get this record deal, get this hit song, like, I'm going to I'm gonna feel better. I'm going to feel, like, more secure. And I know, like, everyone told me, like, money doesn't buy happy. I didn't yeah. fucking believe. I'm like, you didn't make enough, you know? Like, you my bar is enough. higher. That's such a funny line. <laughs> you didn't make enough. You know? You're right. And it's like, it didn't change anything. It didn't make my life worse, but my like immediate experience, like the way I went through the world was exactly the same. And so I feel like I got gifted this opportunity of, of if that's not what life is about, you know, chasing, chasing material or external things, then what is it about? And that's been my quest the last several years. And we, you know, we could talk about like my walk and yeah. my climb yeah. and, and my retreats and this kind of thing, spending time in solitude and, it's not, it's for me. Yeah, of course. Like I want to do all those things. I want to see how I'm going to grow. I know I'm going to fail somewhere along the way. Cause it's too, they're too big a goal. So like not fuck up something on the way, but not just for me. Cause then it's selfish. Mm. And then it's just like, you're just a guy going, yeah, I fucking climb Mount Everest. It's like, who? F- I don't care. You're a dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, and I'm sure you've experienced, have you ever met somebody who like has your goal or they like achieve something close to what you're working on, but they're not a cool guy the or worst. girl. The worst. And it's like, okay, I would, ra- I- I've had moments where like I'm with people who climbed Everest and they're terrible. And I'm like, <laughs> I would rather fail than, than, you know, be a bad person. Mm, 100%. And so like, uh, all that to say, I, I go do these crazy things. I'm on this, this quest of life and uh, I try to share what I learned along the way, you know, because if I don't, then it's just, and that's part of why I'm here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so thank you for that yeah, of course. opportunity to do so. <clears throat> because if I don't, then it's just selfish. You're just like making a list of shit, you know, to pat yourself on the back, you know. We've been trying to have you on for a while, as you know. Dude, you were sending me videos of you summoning fucking Mount Everest <laughs> on Instagram DMs. Like selfie videos of him from the top of Mount Everest. No, I, I- said it for that was after I got down and I was safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, cr- it was great because you were training for Floyd at the same time. Mm, mm. so i was just um you know like you make a decision to do something crazy like that you know uh it can be lonely you know it's like a lot of people telling you crazy and i'm I'm speaking about you Mm. you know so it's like you whenever whenever i could find someone who's like on their own version of craziness craziness. i like like (laughs) to connect with them (laughs) 
How is it over there? Like, yeah, it's fucking lonely and everyone thinks I'm a lunatic. <laughs> Me too. All right, everything checks out. You know, just two it's like fake walkie talkies. Yeah. Those people are crazy. Yeah. Man. He was on Mount Everest. That's all they had. <laughs> <laughs>